Hi guys. After a long, long time, I know, I know, it's more than a month ago when I did my last upload, but I was so incredible busy. Anyway, I got a new video for you, and uh, this one will surprise you, because I bought a new bike. Well, actually not now, I bought it last year. And I also ridden about 7,000 kilometers with it already. So it's not really new, but for you, the viewer, it's new. The title of this video, I'm probably gonna call, I walked over to the dark side, or I went to the dark side, because of what I bought. And no, it's not a Harley Davidson. But hey, let me show you what I bought. And don't unsubscribe just yet. Just hear out my story, because I'm gonna tell about the bike. Anyway, this is the bike. I'm walking towards it now. You're all ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a BMW, a GS. Ah. <laughs> let me set up a chair and let me take off my coat because it's incredible hot today. It's 20 degrees, by the way, and I'm going next week to Portugal, Portugal. But it's gonna be like 40 degrees and now I'm already dying of heat. But anyway, let me tell you about this bike. Why, what, whatever. The sun is a bit uh, on the wrong side here. But uh, let's do it like this. I'm doing this to Ian style, you know, from Big Rock Moto. Ian, if you're watching, you got a really cool channel. Let's uh, smile a little bit more once in a while. Okay. <laughs> anyway, BMW. I've ridden 7,500 kilometers now already with it. But let me have my notebook here. For the usual questions, what will pop up? I was, by the way, uh, uh, last year I went to Croatia with it. And uh, also that video I need to edit, but I also need to finish Vietnam. And I got many more travels lying on the shelf. Anyway, let's do some questions here. Question number one, why did you bought a GSA? Why? I'm trying this with a microphone. I'm not sure if it's working. <laughs> <laughs> I come home and there is no audio at all. But it's very windy here, so I hope this uh, this works. Yeah, all right. But why did I bought a GS? Well, basically, I wanted to know what was all the fuss about, about this GS. I was just curious and I did a test ride, but it was very short, didn't tell me much. So I was like, maybe, oh, there's a lot of wind now. Maybe I must, no, hello. I'm trying to film here, wind. I think the camera will go like this. But anyway, I wanted to know what were everybody talking about, best bike in the world and that kind of stuff. And I want to know for myself. So that's the main reason I bought a GS. Also, it was a bit of a promise to myself because to, when my mother died, I had this inherit. I don't know. I don't know how, what's the name in English. I got this money because she died. And then I promised myself, yeah, yeah, when I have money, I'm gonna buy a GS. And I bought an Africa Twin. I love the Africa Twin, but it always stinks to me. Like, hmm. And so I was like, nah, you know what? I'm just gonna buy the GS. And then I know what everybody's talking about. Yeah, that, that's basically it. Uh, the question you're gonna ask now, is YouTube paying that good? No, YouTube still sucks. I can still like 30 euros a month, which is nothing. So I bought this, of course, completely with my own money. Like I told before, from the my mother's inner it. Inner it? I, I think uh, sometimes it could be handy to prepare my films, at least for the English. Anyway, question number three. You're gonna ask, Roland, are you now gonna turn into some BMW guy? No, don't worry. Before you unsubscribe, because yeah, I know you, you got your finger on the trigger, eh? I'm not the typical BMW rider, and probably I never will. I don't buy only Wunderlich crap. Um, AliExpress will still do fine for me. And I don't like Starbucks coffee in the first place. By the way, I'm here by the milk top again. Uh, I had a bottle of fresh milk from the cows. Also, scratches on the bike, I don't mind. I just put on a new set of tires myself with the irons. So now it has some scratches. 
Boo. And uh, probably there will be a lot more scratches on it also, because I probably will drop it a few times because it is quite heavy, the bike. Don't worry. No, I'm not going to turn into a BMW guy. I'm just Roland riding also a BMW. What mods did you do to the bike? Well, a few, not that much, by the way. Put on a phone mount. I had one uh, from AliExpress, but that one fell off. So now I have another one. Now I have uh, the, the, what's the, quick, uh, quick, quick look. It's called quick look. By the way, they were like 70 euros and I found exactly the same on AliExpress for two euros. So I'm gonna buy a few just to see if there's really any difference. But I have doubt about that. The bike came with a rally seat with the low seat, uh, like a three quarter seat. I rode with it and I think the seat is good, but I was just curious to the uh, stock seat and I was on a BMW forum. Bunch of whiners there. <laughs> but uh, a guy sold his uh, stock seat for 200 euros and now I have the stock seat so I can take somebody on the back. I I'm, I'm not sure yet which seat I like more, but this feels more comfortable, I guess. I put on new tires. In the rear, I put the Continental Tegacy 70 rocks and in the front, the normal Tegacy 70. On the Africa Twin, I had the Tegacy uh, 70 on the rear and the uh, Tegacy 80, you know, with the knobs on the front. I bought this luggage system from Bumot because it was half the price of the BMW, I guess. I kind of like it, uh, the construction where, uh, I don't know if you can hear me still because there's a lot of wind, but the wind is coming from that side. So if I sit like this, you should be fine. I always break those chairs. I don't know. They don't live a long life by me. This one folds uh, open from the inside to the outside. So you can use it as a little table when you're at the gas station or so. I had uh, the cylinder protection for when I'm crashing it and it hits a rock. The bike is not bleeding to death. Headlight cover, because BMW is pretty expensive with everything. And so also the headlight. So uh, there's a headlight protection. I don't like this plastic ones. I, I want the grill one, so I have a grill one on it. I've got front backs on it, which is nice. There are not much six liters on every side, but I can put coffee in there and little stuff, which I need to grab easily. I also bought this from Givi, this 20, I think it's 25 liters uh, tank bag, which is very nice because I use it a lot when traveling. And I got two bottle holders because I fill them with uh, hot water and so I can make coffee on the road. I don't have to do with uh, gas, just in the, in the thermos, uh, it's called a thermo, ther thermo uh, bottle. I don't know if that's an English word. Put hot water in a thermo bottle and then I can have coffee uh, on the road. That's nice. Next question, do you still have the twin? Yeah, I do, well both. I've got the old Africa twin from 95 and I still got the Africa twin from 2019. And next week, so when you see this video, it's like three more days, I'm going to Portugal and I still haven't figured out with what bike, this one or the Africa twin. Help me out in the comments if you want, because I don't know. This one has very good points. The Africa twin has very good points. There's not a real answer here, so you can help me out that will be awesome number five what are your plans so far like i said i'm going to portugal i don't know how because it is incredible hot i'm a bit too late i think to uh, to join the party because now it's really so getting summer and i have this gore-tex suit which is incredible hot so i don't know how i'm gonna do that but that is the plan and also visit some nice places in spain uh, but then again I don't know with what bike. And then, of course, the last question, Roland. What do you think of the bike? Let me get into this into another video. And when that video is released, you will find it here. And if you don't see anything here, it's still not released. It's a chicken. I don't know if you can hear it, but there are chickens there. That's nice. I can I can, I can say something. It is in in some points very good, and in some points not. <laughs> hey, my opinion, yeah? Of course, now all the BMW riders go, no, it's the perfect bike ever. And no, it's not, it's not, it's not. But anyway, I will tell you in my next video what I think of the BMW after a year, after owning several bikes, after 7,500 kilometers. I know that's not that, that much, but it's more than enough to say something about the bike, right? Well, it's, it's nice to have an upload again. Uh, for the people who are waiting on my Vietnam series, I know, I know, it will get there. It's uh, difficult to explain. I have been quite busy with gigs. I have a lot of gigs. You know, I'm a musician. I 
have to play it every weekend. And also we have quite a lot of work, so it's really difficult to get it done. But hey, anyway, now we got a video. I was writing this a year and I got all these films, all these videos, but it's all with a GS and I'm like, oh shit, you guys don't know that I bought a GS. I went over to the dark side. Hope to see you all in the next video, what I really think of the bike. And for now, ride safe.